Okay, so um, we had a Mac crashing issue. So, okay, so you were going to start digging into one aspect of the map. Yeah. So there are three main uh, entrances uh, for the librarians to start exploring uh, the, the, the site and, and this translated version of the map, so to speak. And it's uh, structured the exact same way as the web, which is a map exploring, which is in Swedish, uh, mm -hmm. it's got by uh, um, creating, and 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 the third one is uh, connecting. Mm -hmm. So if we click on Utforska uh, exploring, it's basically mm -hmm. about basically about uh, things like. Uh, mm, to call it English again. Um, my head is, is not working at the moment. Um, um, it looks like it's navigating the web. Yeah, I was I was just looking for a word. It's um, yeah. Um, well, you were di mentioned di before. Sorry, digital reference. Digital. I was going to say that. Yeah, reference. Yeah. yeah. Digital reference and all things that have to do with uh, coaching. Uh, clients co coaching people and, and helping people to, to get started with the web and and you know uh, evaluating search results and understanding mm -hmm. uh, the um, the uh, uh, the way that uh, search engines work and mm -hmm. navigate uh, all about navigation and assessing and credibility I would imagine yeah credibility and also security. Mm -hmm. So, so if we click on navigation, for example, then we get to uh, more specific uh, ways that, that you can continue, um, and it's it's it it's structured exactly the same way as the web literacy map. And I I found this very useful for for our purposes in the network to start mapping ourselves. So, yeah. so I'm going to use this site and this. Uh, Translated so version. could you add like content under each one of these to say that, here's like a training curriculum or here's a resource related to that? Exactly. So, but the first step will be on, on the twenty eighth of May. We'll have this uh, network meeting and, and, a, and a workshop in which we will uh, work uh, together to map ourselves and start. start right. To, Who's working on each of these things? So, who would you go to? Yeah, and asking ourselves, what, what's the situation now in the libraries that we're working? And what are we actually doing and what should we be doing? And then it, we will fill this, this site with information on each section, in each section regarding, uh, let's say, hyperlinks, and then we'll fill that with uh, relevant stuff. Uh, and you so saw that um, um, Doug had posted a new resource um, on WebMaker, the Google, WebMaker Google group, where they've been kind of crowdsourcing resources around each of these. I can um, hold Fine. on. I can look for it and and put it in the chat. Um, yeah. Because I thought it was actually really good, and I, mean, I was <laughs> saying it would be great to connect. Each of the resources to the map. Um, hold on, let me just look here. I think Maker Google Group. Um, oh yeah, sorry, it's on Google Plus. Um, and. So I'm just looking to the thing that I posted. Oh, here it is. Um, so here, I'm just going to put it in the Skype chat so you can see it. Here's the thing. I, I just did like a little sketch to respond to um, what Doug had posted. And then I'll send you the original thing that Doug posted um, and he actually put a comment in there that I haven't responded to. Uh, 
Oh, here it is. Introducing the new uh, resources. So here um, he has this web literacy mapper that I think would be actually, and then so my, what you have on your screen now was me saying like, how can we connect um, the web literacy map um, that the webmaker team's been working on um, with resources and right yeah. now like so make those so that you could sort of see a resource and then see it within the context of the web literacy map so you yeah. don't just have the learning pathways but you actually have the concrete curriculum and resources to move you or to move a group of people from one part of that map to another through the learning pathway i don't know if that makes sense but um and what would be Great, you know, I mean, it looks like the um, the Weblet mapper um, is sort of crowdsourcing a lot of those things, and it would be also cool to curate it a little bit and say, here are some really good ones that we've tested. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you um, for this initiative that you're working on. Oh, that's nice. That's very good. So what else can I... Uh, mention. Um, so as I, as I said before, this, our first step is to use this as a, as a tool for, for this specific workshop to, mm -hmm. to uh, get together, start uh, mapping the situation in Sweden regarding digital inclusion and, and the IT uh, uh, related uh, Activities that we have in the libraries, and and that way, uh, be more aware of what kind of things that we need to add to the services mm -hmm. that we already deliver, because uh, we really need to get uh, one step further in in uh, in our in IT training in the libraries. That's I think this is amazing, and it's such a great um, example of how Mozilla and libraries fit together in very concrete and practical ways. Um, and I know that so much work has been put into refining and creating that, um, the web literacy map. In fact, um, they've just also released a um, white paper um, that they would like to get feedback on which um, I'll, I'll send you the link, um, which really gives a good overview of, uh, maybe you can put it on your screen, gives a really good overview of um, the background and sort of the thinking behind the initiative. And so it's just great to see you like take this stuff and run with it. And, um, yeah, it's a really perfect example. And, uh, you know, I mean, as far as I know, Doug can correct me later if I'm wrong, like, you know, he did a lot of his doctorate on this stuff. So this is, like, really, really deep knowledge that's been applied and then built on, mm. which is, you know, what, what we want to see. Um, I think it's really exciting. One thing that, that I'm very excited about is the fact that we now have a very useful tool to start digging into what we need to do in the libraries uh, from a, a, a skill perspective that, mm -hmm. I mean, both regarding our own skills, what we need to, the, the kind of gaps, uh, knowledge skills that we need to fill, in, fill, and also what kind of services we need to add to the ones that we already deliver. Because so many times up to now we have have sort of started with cool services out there that we have found like when when everybody was going to introduce social media in libraries some years ago when that boomed then we started off with the main you know tools that people were talking about like Twitter and Facebook and so on mm -hmm. which was good but it it it, it became too much of a static framework. 
from which we started delivering services instead of asking ourselves what is the skills that we need to have right. to navigate on the web as a whole. Not right, just so not yeah. using Twitter, Facebook, and all these services as a framework, but using the actual skills as exactly. a framework. Yeah, it's like a super important shift, right? Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's much more liberating to have this kind of approach because then you, you, you can't escape from very important aspects like integ integrity, openness and, and all that security like security uh, mm. you know uh, etc so so um, I, I'm, I'm I'm really excited about the uh, possibilities with this and and it's uh, it's really cool to be able to start to start doing something and uh, which is a, a nice feature with Mozilla of course that you you can you can you can immediately start remixing building from something without feeling guilty that you are yeah. so rude. <laughs> no, we get to share it back and be like, hey, look what we did with your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's the awesome core. So this is the, what you see on the screen now is the invitation to our, our meeting in, in May and, uh, and uh, one concept I, I was I just want to mention is that in Sweden what have what has recently been introduced as a as a, as a meme or, or almost in in school libraries is MIK media and information literacy. Mm. That's MIK media and information competence Swedish, uh, and I, 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 I and the Swe Swedish Library Association has adopted this and and. And they are working actively to be part of this development, which is very nice. But then in this context, it's really nice to be able to add the Mozilla Web Literacy Map perspective because it's not just about information literacy or media literacy. I, in my opinion, it's we, we, we really need to look at uh, um, web skills in, in general. Um, because it, 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 it easily becomes too superficial uh, when, you, when you just um, talk about information or you talk about media in general. And media in, in this context, in the library context, very often is, is reduced to uh, like, you know, video or um, um, specific uh, tools instead of... Uh, the whole thing, so to speak. Instead of, yeah, like things like having voice and self-efficacy and engaging that, in discussion and, um, yeah, the broader civic engagement and then not being scared of tech and and how to, how to use it to organize and to particularly amplify, you know, more marginal voices. So... Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Um, so this is the what you took. That's yeah. very cool. So I, this this was the second thing that I did uh, inspired by the web literacy map. The first thing I did was to translate what you mentioned before the uh, gateway. What was it called again? The um, learning the, pathways. Learning pathways. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. So I translated that one to... I, I, I'm not did you sure. remix it like as a make? Yes, I did. So I, I can, oh, cool. Um, You're so I awesome. I can't even stand it. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. I mean, it's, you can't, I can't really resist it when you realize that you can um, <laughs> actually <laughs> You have it. like a... <laughs> so look at I'm all just, your... Yay! Uh, I'll just log on to this. Right. Okay. Uh, my mates. So. Yeah, oh, here you go. Yeah, this one. So this this, this is the pathways for. <gasps> 
Weibli cuisine. You're so amazing. <laughs> but in Swedish. So we oh, probably... Oh, it's Laura. Laura is the, um, who I was, uh, whose name I yeah. forgot earlier. Sorry, Laura. Yeah, it says the original <laughs> did by Laura and, re and then remixed by Doug Bell. So, so, and it's all based on the skills that um, are explained in the web literacy map. It's interesting. Cool. So anyone can then remix this into their language. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's it. It's done in, I did it in, uh, in a few hours. It was not that difficult, you know, with Google Translate and everything. But then, of course, it, it needs a, a, a remake, of course. We need to look at the, uh, I probably haven't uh, managed to translate all, everything correctly, but most of right. it is, is, is do, you, do you realize you started our meeting by saying you hadn't done much and you felt guilty? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just point out that that's not even sane? <laughs> oh, no, I haven't done much. I just like <laughs> created two new really awesome resources for Swedish librarians. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, but I mean, you, you tend to to feel a bit so, sort of you you are dealing with two two worlds at the same time, the yeah. local one and the international one, and and we are sort of communicating on the international level, but localization is of course very much. Yeah, it's the, all about sharing what you're doing. So if people uh, do this, in you know, be, particularly beyond access, librarians start to do this have this discussion in their countries. I mean, that's, you know, yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I, 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 I think that, I, I, well, I'm, there's an echo. That's why I, I talk. Oh. Um, oh, it disappeared now, I think. Anyway, uh, I really feel it's, um, it's nice to start working with such a tool in a collaborative way, and, and uh, as I said before, we can use this as a tool for the workshop and then start documenting our own thoughts and, and experiences and visions for the future on, on the map, on this uh, DigiBib map. But then, step by step, every, everybody who's interested, a Swedish librarian or anyone else who, who manages Swedish will be invited to be a co-editor of, of, uh, of this, of course, and then whenever they like, they can, when they come up with a new, like a uh, cool link to a resource that fits into one of the sections, or if they have some uh, ideas or a problem that they want to, to explain regarding one of these, uh, then they, they can just step inside and add it. So I, my, my hope is that it will become a wiki like platform for librarians to share on it sort of regularly their ideas and and, and help each other to uh, correct mistakes of course as well for example the translation that i made is a rough translation and then i i'm looking forward to other people uh commenting on that and, and correcting things that i've not made uh, perfect cool mm. yeah okay let's um finish up the recorded part of this and then we can say yeah. goodbye um, yeah. semi off, offline of the recording but still online <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to turn off the recorder